the spotlight this morning. There she is, Miss Rhode Island America this morning. We welcome our new Miss Rhode Island, Nicolette Pelliquin. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me, So, so you were saying we meet again because... <laughs> Because I judged one of the, one of the pageants what three years ago. You That's said? right. And you were competing then. You were competing then. In 2013, I had just turned 18, and it was the first year that I was old enough to compete for the right. title. So see, things work out. <laughs> You're a big winner. Absolutely. Third now, time was a charm. Third time was a charm. <laughs> now, you recently graduated from uh, Salve University, which a great school. Absolutely. A degree in administration of justice. What uh -huh. is that for, for guys who sit on TV and talk? It basically is like criminal justice. Uh, so I graduated with my Bachelor of Arts degree in administration of justice. Right. I've had the opportunity to intern at the Rhode Island Training School with adjudicated youth. I've also done a little bit of social work with communities for people, working with children in DCYF care, but now I'm working towards my master's in education so I can be a school counselor. Well, that's, I mean, it, it's really great stuff that, that you're doing. A lot of folks will see, okay, someone's entering a, a pageant like this. and Of course. They may not have any, like, real goals, but <laughs> you are going crazy. Absolutely. I mean, it's a scholarship organization. The Miss America organization is the leader, leading provider for scholarships for young women in the United States. And really, isn't that the message you really want to get out, that, that part of being in this past pageant is strong, smart. Of course really well educated women. It's funny that you mentioned those S words because the four points on the crown are service, scholarship, style, and success. See, I knew that. So it's really it's important for us to maintain that throughout the years and to keep that in mind as a title holder. And the other thing that you're doing is, which is also a great thing, be the, be the match. It's the National Bone Marrow Registry. Why is this such an important cause to you? I lost my Nana Nancy to cancer and I had a scare with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma myself. The week before I competed and you judged me, I had an enlarged lymph node and had an emergency surgery. So the fact that I was even, even able to compete was incredible. So I went to school, I joined the registry during a drive, right. and when the bone marrow registry called me as a preliminary match, I knew it was my call to action. I was able to donate over 360 million cells through wow. stem cell donation. And two days before I competed for the pageant this year, I found out that my patient is alive, well, and international. So that's great. my cells are somewhere out in the world, and I don't even know it. <laughs> that, that's, great, uh, that's great stuff. All right, so for any one of us who will never compete in a pageant like this, obviously, <laughs> at what point do you, when you're standing there on stage and they're mm -hmm. narrowing, narrowing down these women, do you say, okay, I, I think I got it? Is your heart like going crazy? Are you flipping out? Is the uh, family in the, oh, in the crowd going course. berserk? My family was probably borderline tears. I mean, I cried the whole time I was in the top five because right. you just never know. There's so many incredible young women competing for the title, and we're all friends with one another. So you would be happy to see any girl win. But it's always it, good when it's you. Let's be it's, honest. It's always fantastic when it's you, and you know my crowning moment is just tears flooding my face. But it was incredible. I knew that my grandparents and my family was with me in that moment. So now what happens? Now that you you have this crown, you've won this. Obviously, you've got a busy year ahead of I you, do. and we know some of the other women who have been part of this competition mm -hmm. who, and who have won. It's been life-changing and really they're busy every single day. Absolutely. I mean I've had the opportunity to already be out in the community. Last night I was at the YWCA 150 year celebration. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the Bowmerow Donor Center tomorrow. I'm going to the State House on Thursday, the Chowder Fest on Saturday. <laughs> It's incredible, and on top of this, I'm preparing to compete at Miss America. And when, is it, when does that happen? Where does that happen? September 10th. Okay. It's in Atlantic City at yep. Boardwalk Hall, yep. and um, it'll be on ABC. That's great. Well, you know, I mean, best of luck to you. I Thank mean, you so you much, you got a great Will. year ahead of you. I'm sure we'll run into you at one of these of events course. or something like that and, and see out. We're glad you won. Best of luck to you in everything Thank that you, you do. Thank you so much for having um, me. So you can uh, congratulate Nicole again. If you see her out in public, capturing the crown, best of luck. Now, let's send things